Hello and welcome. Today I will be talking on why programming can be easy. Why do I think programming can be easy? The reason for this paper, first to encourage anyone interested in being a software developer and second, to show some similarities between human language or human society and programming language. Terms used in this paper, lowercase pl means programming language, lowercase hl means human language. Uppercase HL means human life. And words in double quotes are words you should pay more attention to the spelling. So in this paper, I will be talking about seven similarities, but there are several similarities. But seven, we would look into this paper. The first similarity is that PL uses objects a lot, just like HL. Examples of HL objects are any movable or immovable thing, e.g. car, humans, telephone, house, anything that can appeal to the five senses. Second point is that PL gives the objects attributes or properties, just like HL does. Examples of HL attributes are the color of a car is blue, the height of a girl is three feet, four inches. In PL, properties can be changed based on different scenarios. E.g., a color can change from blue to red to indicate to the user that a wrong information has been entered. Example, when trying to log into a website and the login is unsuccessful. In PL, an object can have tens or hundreds of properties. The third point is that PL checks for spelling or grammar errors, just like HL. Imagine you typing a document in a graphical word processing program. The software will check for spelling and grammar error and suggests the correct words, spacing etc. In PL, the art of you correctly writing is called syntax and the tool that PL uses to suggest corrections and autocomplete sentences is called cold intelligence. The fourth similarity is that in human life, when you are cooking, for example, in the kitchen and you need to use some ingredients in the store, you have to go to the store to bring the ingredients and after use, you return them back. Same thing in PL. You can import classes to use and then return them back or in some PL, it's returned automatically after use. Example, the following words are used by some PL to bring in things for use. Import, using. The fifth similarity is that in human life, some words when used in some scenarios can only have one meaning. Example, in an operating room in a hospital, the word airplane means tilting the bed and patient in the role axis to expose a lateral portion or change the patient's hemodynamics, it does not mean a flying machine. Also in PL, we have what is called reserve words or keywords. These are words that can only have one meaning, and most times its meaning is unique based on the compiler of the programming language. The sixth similarity is in human life, we can react to situations differently. What can make one person angry, another person might overlook. In PL, you can determine how objects react to external actions. This is done by coding events. Example, when a button on a form is clicked or when someone inputs an alphabet in a field instead of numbers. The seventh similarity, in nature, some actions are unique to some animals. E.g. a bird can fly in the air as well as walk on, on land, while a dog only moves on land. In PL, this is what we call methods. We can determine what action to be taken and how 
the action should be done. Imagine playing a game, software, e.g. football. When you press the joystick, the player can move to a predefined direction, right or left, or even run. An object in PL can have tens or hundreds of methods that can be programmed based on various scenarios. So what programming language do I recommend? Now, I will not mention any programming language here as my preferred or recommended one. The reason is that my opinion will be subjective based on the programming languages that I have worked with. According to Wikipedia, there is, as of this month, November 2020, 700 programming languages. In the next slide, some points to be noted when choosing a PL will be shared. One, software developers are one of the most united professions online with a lot of forums where people share their challenges. So when choosing a PL, look for one with a strong online community. Number two, always start with a general purpose PL, except as a software developer, you will be developing applications for just one industry. For example, the R programming language is mainly used by statisticians. Number three, look at the history of the PL and read about plans by the owners. Now, even if, even if the programming language is open source, that is the code is, is available for the general public to update and change, you should also look at the history of the programming language and also look at where the language is today and uh, whatever projections you read online about the language. Then the fourth point is if you are new to programming, it's better you start with a language that is easy to learn. This, of course, can be subjective because what might be easy for somebody might be a little bit difficult for somebody else. Even though developers have uh, a general consensus about the languages that have a short learning curve and those that have a long learning curve. So my conclusion is that the world still needs programmers and it's a field that is still evolving after decades of existence. So thank you for taking time to listen to this video. In subsequent videos, I would look at one or two programming languages, write codes on it, and we'll try to achieve the same thing using more than one programming language so that we'll see similarities across board. Thank you very much.